What's up everyone, my name is Treg. If you're looking for a tent for your topper, then you're in the right place. Today we got the DAC tent extension and we got the topper tent. We're gonna go head to head with these two tents and hopefully help you decide which one's gonna be the best fit for you. Let me start by saying that I'm not sponsored by either of these two companies. I paid full price for both of these tents, mainly because I was curious to see the difference between them. And then I thought it would be fun to put together a video to compare and contrast the two tents. So today we're gonna to compare the price, materials, setup, durability, and color options. So if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's truly the best way to support the channel to allow me to keep making videos like this and keep me out of trouble for buying more gear. You notice that for my topper, I'm using the soft topper. That's the nice thing about both of these tents is that there's options for use with a hard topper and a soft topper. So as I'm going through and I'm installing the tents, I'll talk about uh, kind of the modifications that they make for the soft topper and then how you would use them for the hard topper as well. So let's start with the DAC tent extension. The tent weighs five pounds. It comes with this carrying case that's 11 by 11 by six inches. And then if you buy it off of the soft toppers website, it comes with these aluminum poles in this carrying case as well that you need to use for the soft topper. You'll notice that I don't have another bag here for the topper tent. That's because it's already installed. There's an initial installation process with this tent when you get it, uh, but then once it's installed, it, it, can, it can actually stay up there. Uh, the nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about packing extra gear or anything. It's already just tucked away, ready to go. It stays out of the way of the back window when it's rolled up there and you can fold down your soft topper with the topper tent still installed. So let's go ahead and get both of these tents installed and let's check them out. All right, so we're gonna start with the install for the DAC tent. The blue portion of the tent is the walls, the tan portion is the top. So you basically find your interior exterior. Throw the tent up top. This is a lot easier to do with two people. These bungees kind of catch on everything. And bring this side over here as well. If you're doing this in any type of wind, then this thing definitely turns into a kite and can be very difficult to put up. Kind of got to go back and forth here for a second. So then it's got these bungees on each side. Basically runs up to the running boards. You can hook that on there however you want. And then do a bungee on this side. And you take this back portion, run that underneath the tailgate. This bungee fell off, but this runs from here on the side and goes underneath the tailgate to this other side. If you have a hard topper, you basically just lay this over it. You have your back window, you open that up, and that's what keeps the tent out like this. With the soft topper, you can't really do that. So that's why when you buy this DAC tent off of soft topper's website, it comes with these aluminum poles. And you basically have to use these poles to make that extension over the tailgate. Get out of there. There we go. There's probably a better way to do this. What I typically do is I Kind of sit up here, extend the pole a little bit, and there's some little loop for them inside. Just kind of extend that the length there. Then you take your side poles, kind of wedge it in the side of the tailgate. Get one side up. Then you can get up the other side. And then there's this shorter bungee. It goes down the side right there as well. So it generally takes me about four or five minutes to put this tent together with the soft topper. If you have just a hard topper and you're using back window, this would go up quite a bit faster. I don't love that the bungees run down the side of the truck. So I cut some pool noodles in half and made a slit down the middle so that there's nothing rubbing on the paint. So as far as setup goes, not too bad. It is a little bit cumbersome with the extra tent poles that you have to use for the soft topper. But otherwise, I mean, just within a few minutes, you're pretty well set up and, and camping out of the back of your truck. All right, now for the topper tent. Like I said, there's an initial installation that needs to be done with the topper tent just to get it installed up there. Essentially, there's a piece of Velcro that runs from 
behind your rear window, whether that's on a hard topper or a soft topper, and then that just Velcros into place. So it's also really easy to completely remove, then you just leave that piece of Velcro intact. That initial installation with the topper tent doesn't take too long, then you can just leave it installed and it's ready to go, you don't even have to think about it. To get this one set up, there's just three Velcro straps. that you can undo. It'll roll down. Then you've just got a series of buckles. You got two big long buckles that run underneath the tailgate here from side to side. There's a front and there's a back. You can tighten those up. Pulls that tight. Then it's got four buckles in the front. And you just wrap these buckles around that front strap or the furthest away strap. And then tighten those up. Up here on the sides with the soft topper, it comes with an extra piece of like zipper material with the Velcro. And you're supposed to unzipper the rear window and then zipper that into place here. And then that would run down the side. You guys know me, I'm always looking for the easier way to do it. Uh, it seemed a little bit tedious to unzipper this just cause it's a little bit hard to get in there. It's not obviously the end of the world. It just takes a few extra minutes. So what I ended up doing was I took some Gorilla Glue and I glued pieces of Velcro here to the inside of the tent. So then I can just run that Velcro on there pretty easily there. So then I just Velcro that along into place there up onto the sides. And then you can do a piece of Velcro and kind of tuck that down underneath there, but it gives you a really good coverage. And then I just do the same thing with this other side, which that's how you use the topper tent for the hard topper is you just stick the pieces of Velcro down on the inside. So that's what I basically copied. I just had to use some Gorilla Glue in order to get that Velcro to stick onto the topper. But it doesn't, I've used that Gorilla Glue to glue other things inside here. It doesn't leave any damage or anything to the soft topper. So it works pretty well. It makes that setup time a little bit faster. So essentially all I do is unroll that, do the buckles up and then hit a few pieces of Velcro there. So essentially setup time with this is a minute, minute and a half if I'm taking my time. So quite a bit faster and less of a footprint than the DAC 10 extension. The DAC tent or the DAC Incorporated is headquartered in Louisiana. They use a heavy duty tent material to make their tents out of. It's flame resistant, water resistant and mildew resistant. Essentially the whole back of this is a double panel, no CM screen, uh, big door. You can roll up the sides and it's got these little straps up here. If you want to tie that off, you can do so just like that. Then they just use classic bungee cords to secure the tent to the truck. I also like with this deck tent that I can use my tailgate step to get in and out of the truck. That makes it really nice. So instead of having to jump up there, I can just hop right up. So that's really nice with the DAC tent. <laughs> Topper tent is headquartered in Colorado. Their website says that they make all of their products here in the United States and all the products proudly have the made in USA tag on there. For materials, the Topper tent uses a lightweight coated ripstop material that's water resistant, as well as Velcro and then YKK zippers. It has just one panel here on the back and there's some little toggles up top. So you can roll that up to expose the bug screen and get some airflow going back there. There's a big piece of Velcro across the bottom and then zippers going up. If you want to roll up the bug screen portion of the tent, there's another toggle underneath that. So you can open up both of those. Same as the other tent, I can install it and still keep my step down. So it makes it really easy to climb in and out of this tent as well. The topper tent only comes in one color option. It's these blue walls with the tan roof um, for all of their tents. That's the only color option that they have and they all look identical. 
We're not trying to stealth camp with a tent extension by any means. Um, but I will say that with the DAC 10 extension, it is very noticeable that somebody's camping back there. I wish that there were more color options. You know, something black might not stand out quite as much as the blue and the tan. Uh, and then just the sheer size of it, it, it does give you a lot of extra space over the tailgate, but it is significantly bigger than the topper tent. There's two color options for the topper tent, black and brown. Personally, I like the all black. It goes really well with my black soft topper. Um, it's pretty sleek, not quite as noticeable, doesn't stand out quite as much. If I had a tan truck and a brown soft topper, then that tan color option would be perfect. Again, we're not trying to stealth camp when we're using a tent extension, but this is significantly less noticeable than the large blue and tan DAC tent extension. It doesn't have anything that extends over the side. So if you saw this pickup from the side or the front, you wouldn't even know that there was a tent on the back. Um, so if you're in a camping spot or something, you back into it, uh, people likely wouldn't know that you're sleeping in your truck back there. The DAC tent comes in full and mid sizes. The full size is $219.95, the mid size is $199.95. And if you buy it on Soft Topper's website, it includes the aluminum poles and costs $239.99 for both the full size and mid size options. So price point is a little bit higher on the topper tent than the DAC 10 extension. It does come in full and midsize, and there are soft topper and hard topper options. For the midsize standard option of the topper tent, it's $314.99. For the full size standard option for the hard topper is $319.99. The soft topper option is a little bit more with each of them just because there's a little bit extra material that's included. So for the midsize, the soft topper option is $324.99. And then for the full size, the soft topper option is $329.99. I bought the DAC tent when I bought my soft topper, so I've been using it for roughly a year and a half now. Uh, we've used it on all kinds of camping trips from in the middle of winter and snowstorms uh, to summer camping trips. Uh, and honestly, the durability of this thing, it's held up really well. I've been really impressed with it. Um, when I'm camping back there, even in, you know, rain or snow, I've never had water get in through the actual like tent portion of it. Um, I did take some of the seam sealer and go around each of the seams with the tent just to make sure that there was no moisture collection there. Um, but I haven't had any issues with water getting in there. I haven't had any tears, any rips. I haven't had any problem with the zippers for using this for more than a year on quite a few camping trips. Uh, it's worked really, really well. I will say that the material where they use that ripstop material feels a lot more heavy duty than the DAC 10 extension. I haven't had this one for quite as long. I've had this one for maybe a month and a half now. I took it on a week long fishing trip and absolutely loved it. Um, I got in a pretty heavy rainstorm while I was there. Water just ran right off the back. Didn't get any water down into the sides. So like I said, I haven't used this one as much as I've used the DAC 10 extension, but I will say that it's, it feels like it's maybe even a little bit better quality than the DAC 10 extension. Um, and is gonna last me for years to come. Probably my least favorite thing about the DAC tent extension are these bungee cords. I didn't like that it was rubbing on the paint going up to the running board. It's also kind of in the way when you're trying to open that door, if you're getting into anything. I generally wrap that underneath of the running board so that I can still get in and out of the door okay bungee cord down here doesn't really rub on my paint too much it does a little bit the pool noodles have helped quite a bit it's not a big deal to throw those on there but it's just an extra thing that you have to pack and think about i think my favorite thing about the deck 10 is that the entire rear is this giant panel um, that opens up on each side it's really easy to get in and out of it allows a lot of air to flow through there especially in the summertime um, and then if you're hanging out back there you get you know pretty much a wide view of everything that's happening outside um, plus having these poles or the top of your window of your hard topper, uh, you get full use of that space over the tailgate. So you get quite a bit more storage space when you're using the deck tent. You do get a little bit of a gap here on the side where the tent sits over the topper. There is a little bit of a gap down here on the sides as well. But as far as moisture getting in there, I haven't had any issues. The main problem is in the summertime when there's bugs, you just kind of have to put a towel in there or something so that the bugs can't get access into the back of your truck. To me, the, probably the biggest pros to the topper tent is it's always installed. You're always ready to go. You don't have to think about packing any extra gear. Setup time is basically a minute. Uh, there's no bungees or anything running down the sides, so you don't have to worry about scratching or rubbing onto your paint at all. The biggest cons compared to the DAC 10 extension is 
that loss of space that you get. Like I said, for some people that may be a bigger deal than others. And then price point. This comes in about $130 to $140 higher than the DAC 10 extension. The takedown of the DAC 10 is pretty easy. So I undo the poles. I just kind of sit back here again. So get the poles out of there and I just undo the bungees. And you just take down the tent. Stuff it back into its bag. And you're good to go. Then I throw the poles back in the bag here. Pull that over. Not too bad of a setup and a takedown. Honestly, four or five minutes to put it up, two, three minutes to take it down. That process is a lot faster if you have a hard topper. Um, there's just a few extra steps to the soft topper. You have a few extra things to think about when you're packing up, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not a ton of gear. Take down with this is also incredibly easy. Basically undo all your buckles underneath, undo those. I kind of like to throw these longer buckles on the side up there, throw these ones. I'll kind of fold it back onto itself. Then I undo my Velcro down the sides. And you just roll it up. Kind of just go one side in the middle. And that other side. Just like that, you're tucked away, ready to go to the next spot. It is quite a bit faster than the DAC-10 extension. If you're like me, when you camp, you're moving around, fishing different spots, taking your truck, um, moving it around quite a bit. This is the, definitely the easier option. The DAC-10 extension, yeah, setup takeout time isn't too long, but does get to be a little bit tedious if you're moving around a lot. To be able to just undo a quick few Velcro straps and have that tent be set up over there, your tailgate, and then to just be able to roll it up real quick and use those Velcros to put it back away is a lot faster and easier. All right, guys, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful to kind of see the difference between the setup takedown and some of the features of each of the tents. There's a lot of pros and cons to each of the tents. The DAC 10 extension is definitely cheaper, gives you a lot of extra space there. It's a very nice tent to camp under, but takes longer to set up, longer to take down, is a little bit bulkier, doesn't have all the color options that the, the topper tent has. So I, me personally, I think I'm gonna be using the topper tent quite a bit more than I'll use the DAC 10 extension. Uh, just because it's so easy to set up and take down. And like I said, when I'm camping, I usually am moving around quite a bit. I also like that it's sleeker, smaller profile, and doesn't have any of the bungees running down the sides. So let me know down in the comments which of these two tents you think you would prefer, or if you've used either of these two tents and have some experience with them, let us know your feedback down in the comments as well. These are honestly the type of videos that I have the most fun doing where I'm doing comparisons or some type of gear review. Uh, so if you like these types of videos, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of our future stuff. As always, I'm so grateful for all the support that we have on this channel. I love and I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. We'll see y'all next time. Beautiful life, I just can't get enough of this beautiful life.